So with Lydia, art month, October, something that we are having in Estonia for the second time in a row so far. Um, but let's get to the beginning. Um, how much modern art uh, do we have in Wikipedia? Not enough. Not enough, clearly, because we all know that artists need to be sufficiently dead. We, we all know what that means. Being dead is clearly not sufficient. They have to be sufficiently dead. And specifically from some countries, let's say like the case of Estonia, I mean, when did Estonia regain its independence? When the first generations of artists even died? Well, we, we clearly do have a problem. So again, this art month um, has kind of two goals. And um, one of them is really bring the modern art to Wikipedia. This is something that we can actually do. Uh, this is some of the examples. Uh, you can actually even see the year numbers there. So pretty recent. Uh, different newer artists. And um, yeah, there's a lot of possibilities for this, but uh, I mean, how to, how to reach out to artists to show that actually that can be done. And uh, same time, I mean, we do have a lot of art in Wikipedia, already existing art as well. And if we talk about there are like two goals, then one of the goals could also be to actually go there and show the casual reader what is actually there in those wiki projects. And I mean, yes, this is just more visual example of how it might look like, but uh, in reality we have a lot of stuff. Just like in my previous talk about the, the I show, let's say, virtual possibilities for virtual exhibitions. This is just one of the things that we can actually promote under this uh, uh, specific uh, art month that we are currently running in Estonia. Uh, web lectures, uh, article competition, team related art, so ordinary things. But again, it helps to showcase on what kind of stuff we have uh, in different wiki projects related to art. Uh, just inform the reader. Uh, this is uh, how the page looks in the student Wikipedia, or where the first part of it. Uh, you can see the name of it, so you can just find it out yourself very easily. There's actually a small banner in the student Wikipedia, so it's not that difficult to find it. And for you, uh, just designating one month for art is not that really difficult. October is one of those free months that it doesn't actually have any sort of specific designation already. Uh, and if you want to have something similar in your own country, you don't actually need to do much more than just uh, go to this page, copy paste stuff and translate it into your local language. You don't even need to build it from scratch. You can just use this as an inspiration. Um, but again, it's just a good way to get more art, specifically modern art as well. It's uh, somewhat more difficult for the art that's where the artist is actually died. Uh, but it's not, again, sufficiently dead. But even in our project so far that we have done, and it where the organization is all perfectly doable, actually already by now, let's say, have, was one of the artists, for instance, died a few years ago, who have, we have a lot of art now. So again, if we're not actually doing it, collecting those permissions right now, and some of the artists that we have gotten materials are relatively old, so, uh, but for instance, in one case, we just, uh, a museum helped us start the art museum to print it out, the permission stuff, and the artist assigned, we <laughs> scanned this thing and so on, uh, because the artist just, just doesn't use emails. <laughs> so again, uh, this thing is not really a well kept secret, just go to the student Wikipedia, look more about it, uh, see if you can do something like this in your own location. Or so, I don't know, do art week. It's still a way to show what we actually have in uh, Wikipedia and encourage people to add more. And of course, uh, I would also welcome you to come to talk to me about this Wikimuseum site as well. Thank you. No.